the preacher Chris and I'm in Montana and I'm going to go show you a little footage here of this area that I'm fishing me and Mark Silver and his brother John Scotty Googe Scotty didn't come with us this morning he needed to rest we're in an area called Cabin Creek just above Quake Lake and the setting here is awesome it's just beautiful beautiful territory and I'm just going to be honest with you I'm just sort of I'm just sort of almost overwhelmed that I'm here <laughs> and uh, just to thank the Lord that I've had the opportunity to come to this place I, I never dreamed in my lifetime that I would ever get to come to a place like this and fish and just see this scenery and see that all of this it's such beauty um, wilderness just the wildness of it and yes I'm keeping my eyes open for grizzly bears <laughs> no doubt about it but this this is one of the most beautiful places I, I have ever been and I just praise Jesus this morning that I've had this opportunity just a beautiful setting I'm gonna let you see all around where I'm fishing at right here And I just praise Jesus that I've got the help and I've had the opportunity to fish this place. God bless y'all. Let's go back to fishing. Hey guys, it's uh, Preacher Chris. I hope you can hear me over the water. Uh, been a fishing a little bit this morning. This is our last little fishing trip. Got a guy across the river here fly fishing. Watching him a little bit. Caught a few fish this morning, but this is our last last go at it. And then this evening, tomorrow morning, we got to get everything ready for our trip home tomorrow. This evening will be our last Montana sunset. And then morning will be our last Montana sunrise for this trip. Our last night in the cabin. Our last night to get up and get ready to go fishing here in Montana. Our last meal this evening <laughs> for supper and then we'll be heading back home you know as beautiful as this place has been as awesome as this place has been been quite quite the experience for me to come out here and see what I've seen and to see new mountains new territory new scenery fish new waters all of this stuff that I've seen it's not home it's beautiful, but this is not my home. My home's back in North Carolina. And you know what makes my, where I live my home is my family, my friends and my church family. It's not that I've not, I felt welcome here. We went to church here and we felt welcome and, and there's nice people here, but you know, it's not home. As much as we love this world and love the experiences and stuff of this this area in Montana. It's not like being, being at home with Michelle, and Gabriel, and Reuben, and my church family. It's just not home. As beautiful as it is, it's just not home. And I've been thinking this morning, and I, I might have mentioned this in another devotion in the past, but you know, as, as awesome as, as this life can be sometimes, I, kn I know there's some hard stuff, I know there is. But there's also some wonderful things that God blesses us with in this life. Family, friends, church family experiences, the blessings of life. There's some awesome stuff in this, in this world. One thing that we've got to keep in mind is that this world is not, not our home. As nice as it is sometimes, and, and the blessings that we have in it, it's not home. Our home's in heaven. Hebrews chapter 11 says that Abraham traveled through this world, through this life, by faith, like a stranger and a pilgrim, because he was looking for a city whose builder and foundation that hath a, a, a foundation, and it's made of God. It's not a, not a man-made place, but it's a place made by God for his people. Even though there are some great things in this life. I've had such a wonderful time here in Montana fishing and, and 
enjoying this. We've caught quite a few fish and just the experience, the scenery, the animals, the everything about it. But this is not my home. My home's back back in North Carolina with Michelle and my boys and, and my friends and family. And I'm looking forward to going home. And you know, as Christians, one of the things that we should do is look forward to going home. Sometimes we go through hard stuff in this life. And sometimes we go through some blessings and wonderful. There, there's wonderful things in this life. There is. But this is not home. And I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home to my wife and my boys. And I'm ready to go home to heaven. The question is, is are you, are you ready to go home to meet Jesus? Deal me. Brown. Hey, listen. Got too many photos of you holding big fish. It's my turn now. <laughs>